Now, after decades of theories about UFOs, the CIA has finally come clean about them. It says the agency itself was responsible for more than half of all sightings in the late 50s and most of the 60s, would you believe? So just what was flying high in the sky all those years ago? What's that? My God. That's a UFO. It's one of the greatest mysteries of science. Are we truly alone in the universe? By definition, a UFO is an unidentified flying object, but the term has become synonymous with aliens, abductions and encounters that seem to defy any rational explanation. In the 50s, in a small town in Outback, Oregon in America, a farmer and his wife were to make history. I looked up and saw this thing in the sky. Well, it was bronze on the top and silver on the bottom. I would say a right around the size of a big parachute. Evelyn Trent saw it and her husband Paul photographed it. The pictures captured headlines around the world. This week the CIA took to Twitter to claim some responsibility. In a tweet announcing its most popular stories of the year, they say reports of unusual activity in the skies in the 50s, it was us. The report shows the CIA secretly flew its famous U-2 spy plane at altitudes of more than 18,000 metres above countries like the Soviet Union for many years. Since no one believed manned flight was possible at such heights, many who spotted the planes believed they were seeing UFOs. The spy agency did nothing at the time to make people think otherwise. Isn't that fascinating? So are all UFOs that easily explained? Doug Moffat is a UFO investigator. He joins us now. Uh, Doug, UFOs, basically spy planes. Well, that covers a very, very small part of the pie. I mean, to say that it covers half of reports from the 50s and 60s is absolute rubbish. Um, the United Nations, for a start, has over 100,000 UFO reports on record. Most of them are ground-based. Um, if you've got a plane flying at 60,000 feet, the whole idea of flying at 60,000 feet is you can't be seen from the ground. So the only people that are going to see it are commercial airline pilots, and that's, uh, mm. a, you know, a percentage, but small. So why would the CIA come out and say this then? Do you think? Well, one can only lead to speculation. Yeah, so um, speculate. In my opinion, well, in my opinion, they've been doing this for over 70 years. They've pretty much painted themselves into a corner. They don't really want to let us know that they don't know the full story. I think it's a security thing. It's, uh, uh, you know, uh, again, you know, it's just a case of... Uh, there may be other agendas beyond mm. that that I'm not aware of. OK, so give us your theories on the U UFOs. Are they, are they space travellers from other planets? Well, a percentage of them, um, obviously, if, you know, if you're talking about UFO sightings, um, there's a large percentage that can be explained. Of the part that can't, um, again, speculation is that they are something that doesn't follow the characteristics of what we know. So therefore we're looking at an unknown, obviously. And uh, obviously one of the, if you look at science, there's over a thousand planets now, exoplanets discovered, uh, quite a few of them Earth-like planets. It's, uh, it's pretty much a given that there is other life in the universe out there. And so uh, the tyranny of distance that we experienced hundreds of years ago um, is something we overcome, and I'm sure that those more advanced technically than us would be able to overcome that tyranny mm. just as easily as we did. Mm, interesting stuff. Mm, fascinating. Are you a UFO believer? I'm not a disbeliever. Right. Oh, there you go. You know, uh, and I would say I, I'm sort of cynical about things, you know, but um, mm. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Are tell you? Us, tell us what you think. Uh, uh, logic says there must be somebody out mm. else out there, but whether they can get to us, I have no idea. And whether they like to yeah. fly in a saucer. Yeah. Doug, thanks for your time. Yeah. Appreciate it.